one of the keys to playing the innovation game is first deciding what innovation is. And there's a million definitions. It's sort of like a Rorschach test. If you showed an a ink blob to somebody, they'd all come up with a different interpretation of what they're seeing. That's also true for innovation. So innovation isn't really defined by what it is. It's defined by what it is not. And what it is not is it's not normal. It's not standard. It's not the usual way we do things. So the more deviant the innovation is, the more variant the innovation is, typically the more valuable the innovation is. So innovation is largely defined by what it is not. It is not normative. Now the key to innovation is that there's a general problem with innovation that almost everyone gets wrong. What makes innovation different from everything else is innovation is only an innovation for a moment in time. It goes sour like milk. Innovation has a shelf life. So something that was an innovation, let's say a new smartphone that you got last year, this year might not be an innovation. A miracle drug that you took five years ago might not be an innovation anymore. It might be a commodity. There might be a new miracle drug. So there's this whole idea that it's only an innovation for a moment in time. Now the third thing, and it's equally important, is innovation doesn't happen in straight lines. It's not, it's not that you do the first step and then the second step, the third step, all the steps work in a nice straight line. Actually, it's highly iterative. So innovation happens in cycles. So there are periods of time, and you can see this in society, where we're going to create a lot of new products and services and then there are going to be periods of time where it's kind of dormant where we're letting those products and services get to scale we're letting them grow up before the next wave of innovation comes so it's key to remember that innovation is defined as not a standard innovation can only be an innovation for a moment in time and finally innovation has kind of a grand cycle to it and you have to time that grand cycle make sure you're not too early or not too late for that innovation to become valuable